Tuesday, 30 minute buns and guns. Or if you're doing it any other time, it's not Tuesday and it's still 30 minutes buns and guns. Uh, make sure you've got uh, water today, you've got uh, hand weights, maybe a variety, some light, some heavy, um, compromise or, or um, improvise is what I want to say. Improvise if you don't have hand weights. Use things like uh, water bottles or tin cans from uh, the cupboard or grocery bags loaded up. So give yourself a little um, extra work if you want to when you're doing some of your your arm work and we can add it in for our squats as well so it just gives you a little bit more to work uh, resistance and you maybe you get a little bit more out of it so getting ready in about 15 seconds and we'll get right into our warm-up have a great class So starting, just walking out those legs. Let's get them warmed up. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. Really enjoy this stretch. You've been hunched over your computer all morning. Really extend, get nice and long. And shake out those arms. And let's march it a little bit more intensely. And those arms can go forward and back. Can those knees come up a little higher? Don't worry about speed just yet. Let's just start to increase our range of motion. So big knees up, big marches. Let's take that down and go side to side and just tap it out. And let's roll back our shoulders. Get some movement there. Try to release the tension if you've got it hanging around in our neck and shoulders. Rolling back, elbows bent. And now take a full arm, watch your environment, making sure you're not gonna hit anything, anyone. Good, back to shoulders and elbows bent. And right down, a couple of deep breaths in. Go back to a tap. This time we do the whole thing with the arms going forward. So you roll shoulders forward. I'm feeling more like I'm swimming. Bend the elbows, bring them up a little higher. And now, yeah, really feels like I'm swimming with a forward crawl. Good. Back to those elbows. You can tell what I've been doing on my uh, holidays. And now just shoulders. I have been swimming. <laughs> Deep breath in. And out. And up. Now ready to start increasing the heart rate. So let's take it to a jog. We're going to start with knees up. About 30 seconds. So we're almost halfway there. Oh, it just got really dark in here. I don't know what's going on. I can see the lighting has changed, so hopefully you can still see me. And let's bring it down and do some jacks. So you're landing soft on your feet. Your knee is micro bent all the time, never straight, never locked. Full range with the arms. Ten more seconds. So feeling your body warming up, heart rate rising, maybe your breathing is increasing. Bring it down, and let's just do knees up, knees up, knees up, and cross. Tummy's tight, keep the back straight. Starting to warm up with rotation, good. So it's not about elbows down, it's about knees up. Excellent. Four, three, two, one. Back to jacks. Always an option to go lower jacks, side to side, taking out the impact. Whatever works for you. Halfway there. Any 
time during the class you need a drink, go ahead. Very important to hydrate when the very warm weather. Two, one, good. Hamstring curls this time. So bend down. Bring those heels up to your buns. Good. Getting warmed up for all the squats. Because we love squats. Ten more seconds. Squeeze, squeeze. Four, three, two, one. Last jog. So your choice. Knees up or hitting the back. Maybe your hands are down and your heels are going towards your palms. 15 seconds. Almost there. Two, one, last set of jacks. Here we go. Higher low, your choice. And check those knees. Keep them slightly bent. Ten seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. I'm going to grab a drink, quick drink already. We're going to grab weights. We're going to start with forward lunges, bicep curls. First set, palms facing up, and we start taking it forward and back with the legs turning sideways. So secure your foot before you dip down. Make sure you don't drive that front knee over your front toe. Upper arm squeezed into your upper body. Up to your shoulders, down, and just slightly past your hips. So we don't want to just stop right here. We want to direct the hands, arms, past your hips behind you. Keep your range of motion. Don't shorten it. Four, three, two, last one. Good stuff. We're going to stand with feet in number 11. Right underneath your hips. Lean slightly forward. Tummy tight. We're going to push back our arms. Tricep kick back. Push. So the elbows stay up nice and high. Arms squeezing together towards your spine. Center your back. Feeling the work. Back of the arm. Adjust your weight if you need to. Back. Go slower. If you are using heavier weights than I am, and it takes you more time, slower is best. So don't try to keep to the speed that I'm doing. Work with what weight you're using. Two more. One more. Good. We're going to go back into our forward lunge again. This time we're doing hammer curls, so the top of your weights. Point up to the ceiling, your palms face into each other. It's the same move with the arms. Up and back, slightly beyond your hips when you push down, making sure your front knee doesn't go over your front toe. Go slower if you want to go lower. So if you really want to get the dip, slow it down. Good. Four, three, two, last one. Excellent. I'm going to go to a lighter weight because we're going to start doing squats to the side and lifting the arm out so that it's bent. It comes up to shoulder level. I can't do that with heavier weights, so I've adjusted. So it's a squat out wide, squeeze back in. Squeeze your inner thighs and glutes when you come back in. Now bend that elbow, and it comes out and up, 
down and in. Resisting. If you had a workout partner, pretend they've got their hand on your arm. They're resisting your push up. They're resisting your lower back down. Not letting you go quickly. Squeeze in. Squeeze in. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Ready to go on the other side. Start with squats. So we start legs first. Big muscles. Focus on squeezing inner thighs and glutes. And then don't lose that. Now we add in arms. So the left arm for me is bent. I'm pushing up, lowering down, slow both ways, up, in, resist, resist. Don't forget about the legs. Good. Up and down, up and down. Maybe you notice if you go slower, you feel it more. Yes, good. No use doing it if you're not gonna feel it, not gonna get the benefit, right? Two more. One more. Good. Okay, starting to touch back. One foot then the other. Even just here, you can get the work by squeezing the glutes. Bend your elbows, palms up, start to reach out. When your right leg goes back, your right arm goes forward. And then same thing on the left side. Now you want to make it harder. Whoops. <laughs> okay, what we're going to do is bend out. Bend out. Sorry. There we go. So making it harder, we've slowed it down. We've added our squat. And we've lifted the leg at the back. How do we lift it? It's not a kick. It's a squeeze and lift. Squeeze and lift. Squeeze and lift. Good. Shoulders are not doing the work. Back is stabilizing you. It's not going down and up. Try to keep it straight and level. Out. Out. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Okay, I haven't done this class in two weeks, so my buns are talking to me. Not sure about you. I'm into a wide squat. Toes and knees pointed in the same direction. So if my squat is nice and wide, you prefer, prefer yours a little closer stance, that's okay. It's just about your knees and your toes being in the same direction. As we go down and up, we're squeezing up. We're trying to keep our chest open. Back straight, adding arms. So we lift, bring it down, alternate, bring it down. So I'm only lifting about shoulder height. Slowly down, slowly up. Still squeezing glutes, inner thighs. Lift, and lift, and lift. Good, four. Three, two, last one. We're gonna turn to the right. I'm gonna lean more over my front foot. So I'm on the ball of my foot on the back leg. I bring one arm back down and I brush my upper body as I pull, kind of like maybe pulling a lawnmower. So weight down, weight up. Elbow feels like it's trying to hitch onto the ceiling. You can add a roll with the back foot. So there's one option, or you can add a dip, or don't do anything at all. Eight, seven, six, keep it close. Last four, two more, one more. Good, let's come back to that wide squat again. Ready, whenever you're ready. Down and up. Alternating arms again to the front. But this time, if you want to do both arms together, feel free to try that. Go a little slower, making sure we're not swinging through the spine. 
So here's what we want, nice and straight. Here's what we don't want, the exaggerated pull. So keep it straight. Good. And if two's too much, go back to single. Four, three, two, last one. Good. Now we're going to turn second side. Leaning more over the front foot, knees over your heel. Hand goes down to the foot, elbow comes up to the ceiling. Arm stays close, brushes your upper body. A couple of options for the back leg. Stay where it is. Roll onto the ball of your foot, and then press back the heel, or go down into a knee dip, making sure it is straight down, not forward and back. Eight. Seven, six, good, four, three, two, last one, time for a drink for me. Next set is our over row with the deadlift, squat, push, squat, stand. So again. I'm going to go up a little bit, but I'm going to keep my lower weights close in case I want to change. So feet in number 11 under your hips, slight bend in your knees. We lean over from the hips, keeping the back flat. We extend the arms, row in, extend the arms, deadlift, do it again. Over, row, extend, keep doing this move, over, row. Extend, lift, over, row, extend. So it feels a little bit like some of the moves we did already. We've got those elbows coming up to the back. But we've got the big lean forward, which is engaging all around the core. Good stuff. Two more sets. One more. Over row in, extend, deadlift up. Good. Shake those legs back into position. We're going to go starting our squats, sending those hips back, making sure the knees never go over our toes. And a little check. Maybe you start wobbling backwards because you're directing your weight into your heels. That's good. Toes, if they're coming up, that's a good sign. So with the arms, we go shoulders. Press, shoulder, stand. Take the time to press all the way up and to stand tall. Stand tall here and here and here and here. And of course, if your weights are heavy, go slower. Two more. One more. Good. All right. Just a little breather, and then we're going to do a couple mixed together. So over row, deadlift, squat, push, squat, stand. Here we go. Over row, deadlift up, squat, push, squat, stand. Over row, deadlift up, squat, push, squat, stand. Over row, deadlift. Squat push. Squat stand one more time. Over row. Deadlift. Squat push. Squat stand. Great job. Okay. Going wide into a lunge. And we start going over to the left, back to center. Left, back to center. Hand down. Hand down. Weight comes back up to our shoulder. So right leg is extended, but never straight. Good. Next level if you want. When you bring the arm up, you also step back in. You can touch the ground, or you can do a knee. Maybe more. Adding the push. Of course, slowing it down. Push, four, push, 
three. Nice stretch for the inner thigh, right leg. Two. And one. Good. Wide again. Directing now to the right side. Left leg extends. Do not straighten, keep it slightly bent. Lean over, then pull back. Slight rotation to the upper body. Facing the toe, then facing up. Straight ahead. When you're ready, you can start bringing the foot in. You can start lifting the knee up. You can start pressing the hand. Lots of options. Choose what works. Push. Push. Slow it down to get the best form. Get the most out of it. Can we do two more? This is two. This is one. Good job. Okay. Feet in number 11. Just going into a squat, sitting back. Squat, sitting back. We want to go into a suitcase squat. So this is where we have one side heavier than the other. So either one weight and none, or maybe you want to do two weights and none. What you're trying to do is keep your body straight in a line and not lean with the weight. Straight up. Sitting back, not letting those knees go forward. Notice I wobble backwards. I'm trying to direct my weight into my heels. Sometimes it sends me off balance. That's okay. Four, chest up. Three, squeeze those legs. Two. Last one. Bring it up, walk it out. Second set. So again, start your squat by sitting back. If you don't like the imbalance feeling, you're gonna just do, you're gonna say, Laurel, I never unbalance. And I'll say, awesome. <laughs> Maybe you always have two suitcases, always the same weight. That's great. Keep the chest up. Squeeze the legs. Squeeze more. Two more. That's two. That's one. Great job. Weights down. Time for a drink. Lighter weights for me. Going into some of our balance work while we still do rotation. So let's choose one leg to stand on. I think I always stand on my left to start. Today I switch. I'm gonna stand on my right. And I'm just gonna lift the knee on the left leg, up and down, trying not to lean into it. So keeping the back nice and straight. Lift up and down. Try not to touch, but if you do, that's okay. It's okay. Up. Let's bring those hands up. So I started with my um, my challenging side first. I'm touching a lot more than used to, but that's okay. Gives me something to work on. So now I'm just starting to do a little rotation through the upper body as I lift the knee. Feel the core work more. Good. At your pace. Touching or not, don't lock your standing leg. Now, if you want, even a little bit slower, because when the foot comes down, we extend out on the bottom. Use the outer thigh muscles. Four, squeeze. Three, squeeze. Two, squeeze. Last one, excellent. Bring it down. When you're ready, Getting set on the second side. Standing leg, soft knee. Start to lift and down and lift. Pull the tummies in. Lift. Raise those hands. When the knee comes up, slight rotation upper body. 
Maybe the first couple sends you off balance. Again, your challenge is to try not to touch, but if you are, it's okay. Now, if you want to, add the extension down low. Out. Rotation, extension. Rotation, extension. Yep. There we go. Four. Doesn't have to be big. Two more. One more. Good. Just keep the weights at your side. Stand on that first side again. So this is your challenge to understand what side did I do first. I want to just send that leg into a bicycle. And you can bend a little bit as you bicycle, but don't drive the knee forward. If you don't like that bending, just stay with a soft knee. And my arms are going to travel in the same direction. So a forward bicycle. Yep. <laughs> it is my challenging side. Yep. And bring it down. Good stuff. I know there's people out there who would say, Laurel, you have no challenging side, one over the other. They're all challenging. Yeah. <laughs> That's a different side of me, though. Oh, we got to laugh, right? This time, second side, bicycle, but we're going backwards. So we still have to think about tight abs, soft knee on standing leg, not going quick, control the movement, feel the core work. Two, and one. Yep, that's good. Stand those legs just a little bit further apart so you've got a good base. Bend those knees a little bit of a pelvic press forward. We're going to lean down for two. Slowly back up, stand straight. Other side for two. Back up, stand straight. Really feeling it in the side of the waist. Good. If you want to add more work, you start to lift the top arm so the weight comes close to being under your armpit. And then we extend out the lower arm so you can do one or both. It just adds a little bit more tension to the move, a little bit more. Now we feel the sides of the waist working. Don't forget to engage through the belly button, pull into the spine. Good. A couple more. Let's do one more each side. Last time. Mm, excellent. Weights down. Last one is our pendulum. So again, whatever side you're standing on first, keep that up. So I almost went back to my normal side. So my leg goes forward. I try to pass. I go to the back without touching. If you're touching, that's okay. Standing leg, soft knee. This is optional to start leaning with it. Of course, I can lean a whole lot more when I go forward with my body. I can't lean so far back, not recommended. Keep it safe. Squeeze down the leg, all through the core. Last one on this side. And when you're ready, switch it up, making sure standing leg always has a soft knee. So if you're comfortable with the leaning, go right into it. Keep it under control. Mm -hmm. And same thing with all of the other movements we did. The slower you do this one, the more your body needs to work. That's why we're here. Don't speed it up. One more. Good. Bring it down. Deep breath in. Let it go. Up. Grab those hands together. Press the palms away from you. Bring those hands in front. Thumbs pointing down. Lead with the heel of each palm. Stretch the back of your upper arms. Bring it down. Shake it out. Breathe in again. Grab on your hands. This time you're looking at the palms as they come forward, thumbs pointing up. This time here you can feel stretch through neck. A 
upper back. Bring it down, shake it out. Tricep stretch. Try to have elbow pointing up, bicep by your ear. You can have a little bit of support. Notice I like to walk around. You don't have to stand still. Let's bring that arm in front of our body. Hand either above or below the elbow and just hug it in, relax your shoulder. You can lean your head towards those fingers. Bring it back, shake it out, other side. Some things never change, running out of time, still need to do leg stretches, hang in there with me. I'm not sure if I'm the only one who goes over every time. Bring that arm in front. Hug in slightly, shoulder down, lean your head. And bring it back, shake it out. Leg stretches, and I'm just gonna cancel my alarm so it doesn't bug us. Here we go. So, into a nice long stride. Our heel is down, back leg, knee bent. Slight bend in the back knee. Try and stay up through the chest. Now, bending the back knee, but pressing the heel down, back foot. Focus of the stretch should be the calf. Still breathing. Slowly come up onto the ball of the back foot. We press forward through the hips pelvic tilt. You can stay here, you can slowly lower down. If you do that lower down, you feel more of a stretch through the thigh of the back leg. Bring that up. Step in halfway. Hands go on your back leg and we send our hips back as we slowly come down. So you're going to pick something off the ground in front of you. So one leg is in front of you, you're going to lift up the toes and pivot onto your heel. Your hips are still going back. Your chest is open. This stretch is felt in the glute, hamstring, and calf of the leg that is extended. So as I'm in the camera here, it's my back leg, or the leg that's away from the camera. I'm not going to say my back leg, because that's confusing. Bring the toe down, roll up, shake it out. I'm just going to stay facing this way so you see the whole thing on the other side. A long stride again. Bend the back knee, press the heel of the back foot into the ground, and really feel the stretch in the calf, back leg. Breathing, my heart rate is still up, so I'm still making sure I'm breathing. Come on up to the ball of the back foot, do your pelvic press forward. You can stay here and get the hip flexor stretch, or you can lower down a little bit and intensity goes a bit more into the thigh of that back leg. You can always do stretching through the chest. You can squeeze those shoulder blades together. Just do something with those arms. Release that. Come on up, step in halfway. Hands go on my back thigh. I sit my hips back. I'm gonna pivot onto the heel of my front foot. Lift the toe. Core is engaged. Glute, hamstring, and and calf, all getting a big stretch on this extended leg. Bring the toe down, roll up, one final stretch. <coughs> up, there we go. Pressing our hips forward, squeezing, quad stretch, front of that thigh. Bring it down. I'm going to turn sideways so you can see the position of my thigh. So I bring it up, and I've got my thigh just slightly behind my standing leg as I press my hips forward and I squeeze my glutes. Bring it down. Deep breath in. Let it go. Up. Let it go. Come on, all the way up. Stretch. Reach. Oh. Good job. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day. I got to go towel off. <laughs>